legacy and heritage that the founders, stakeholders, teaching and non-teaching staff, alumni, and students of Fiat University have been building for seven and a half decades is one of the sources of inspiration and pride of every Fiatino. While bystanders may view Fiat University as the school built along the riverbank of Pasig, Fiatinians see it as their second home, a place where they overcome their weaknesses, where their potentials are tapped, their skills being honed, where they become mature Christians and individuals who are equipped to face life's challenges and to contribute in making a society much better than when they found it. So join me as we travel back in time, relive the days when our alma mater, together with students and mentors, was taking its baby steps or at times was doing some leapfrogging along the way to achieve its dreams and aspirations. Most of us would know that FIATI stands for Far Eastern Air Transport Incorporated, a term coined by one of our founders, Victoria Lopez Araneta, when she renamed INAIEC, or the Iloilo, Negros Air Express Company, the first Filipino-owned and first Asian-owned airline in the region to Fiati Airlines. In those days, Fiati Airlines in a way linked Filipinos from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao by providing a faster means of reaching the islands of Bacolod, Cebu, Iloilo, Davao, and back to Manila. Fiati Airlines also made the Filipinos discover Hong Kong, Shanghai, and Bangkok. I can only imagine the thrill of being one of the passengers exploring Asia and the Philippines during that era. Not long after its numerous successful takeoffs and landings, World War II broke out. The fleet of Fiati Airlines was not spared by the havoc of the war. But our founders, Salvador and Victoria Araneta, never gave up. They did not only re-establish the airline, but also built a training institution for pilots and aircraft mechanics when the war was finally over. What started as a small technical school has become a university that has trained and produced countless professionals in most industry sectors. These professionals help in producing some of the nation's, if not the world's first inventions through the mentorship and guidance of their skillful and very competent FIATI instructors. For those who have not heard or read about these FIATI inventions, now is your chance to learn about them and become prouder than ever of being a member of the FIATI family. Due to its strong affinity to research, the first Philippine-made glider soared in the sky in 1949. A year after the launch of the glider, Miss Fiati Tech, the first aircraft made from locally sourced materials, was successfully flown. Because of its pioneering effort in the degree programs in aeronautics, Fiati University, which was then Fiati Tech, received commendation from the Philippine educational system. Who can beat that? But guys, we are just starting with Fiati's many achievements. The year 1953 recorded many firsts in the brag book of our alma mater. In that year, a jet trainer which can accommodate two persons was designed for the Philippine Armed Forces. In the same year, Fiati built the first hydroelectric laboratory in the country with a low-head, state-of-the-art Lefel, hydraulic turbine. This turbine is of the types as the ones installed at Caliraya Hydroelectric Plant in Caliraya Laguna. None among us, millennials or the I generation or even Generation X, had the chance to hear the broadcast of Fiati's radio station DZFU. It was in August 1953 when Fiati was granted a franchise and license by the Radio Control Board to operate a radio and television station for educational purposes. Fiati was the first school to launch the first wireless television broadcast in the country. Amazing, isn't it? Having a TV and radio station right at the heart of the campus. That same year, an automatic pilot testing device was invented by one of the alumni, Ricardo Santiago, for the Philippine Air Force. Not long after the launch of the first Philippine glider and Miss Fiati Tech, Another first among Fiati's inventions made its dramatic flight in the Manila International Airport. This aircraft, which was created by Fiati's Vice President and Aeronautics Department Head, Dr. Gregorio Zara, was the first of its kind to be powered by biofuel or alcohol. Even before the advent of Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, Google Meet, or what have you, Fiati was already in the forefront of video conferencing. Thanks again to the inventive and creative mind of Dr. Zara, who showcased the beauty of long-distance communication. 
between or among people who were miles apart but were able to see while conversing to one another with the TV telephone. This Fiatti first, which was the forerunner of the video phone we have today, surely made President Ramon Magsaysay and our countrymen in awe when they witnessed how it worked. Fiatti with Dr. Zara showcased the first thermosolar heating machine and solar water heater a couple of years after the TV telephone was created. The solar water heater can easily make water reach 82 degrees Celsius in just a matter of minutes. 1959 was the year when things were literally shooting up in the air due to Fiatti's inventions or innovations. From the first experimental rocket in the Philippines to the first flying saucer, then to water from the Pasig River being propelled to a height of 15.54 meters or 51 feet at a speed of 4.48 kilometers per hour, done by the first aerodynamic windmill in the country. These were sights and sightings to behold. Making its debut also in 1959 was the Polariscope in the laboratory of the Aeronautics Department and the solar battery by Dr. Zara that powered the fan and transistor radio. Because of the Polariscope, which was the first photoelastic stress analysis equipment in the country, aeronautical engineers and aircraft mechanics were able to detect and visualize critical stress and internal stress points. It also helped in measuring the magnitudes and directions of principal stresses of aircraft materials. Are you mesmerized or have you become speechless by the numerous Fiatti inventions? Our list does not end there. Perhaps you know what this is. This is ASIMO, our advanced step in innovative mobility, the most sophisticated humanoid in existence today by Honda. Half a century ago, Fiatti had its own ASIMO. Please meet General Marek. It may not be as advanced as a SIMO, but General Marex, which was introduced in Fiatti's Science Fair in 1961, made TV appearances where it obeyed simple commands and talked to the amazement of spectators. Making things in an automated and more efficient fashion is among Fiatti's thrusts. Adding to the list of its first and feats is the automatic machine that shaped wood propellers in a matter of minutes and the hovercraft, which can travel on water, land, and air. Fellow Fiatinians, every time you recall or see Fiat University and its logo, remember to thank and give adulation to the pioneering spirit of those people ahead of us. Remember to honor them by always doing your best at all times, by creating your mark in the world someday, and sharing what you have so that others may improve their lot like you.